All right, we're gonna unbox this uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, I have already tear the tape off the box, so um, we're gonna see what's inside. So first off, you have all this um, documentation in a really nice nice um, bag or pouch whatever you call this so it's really secured and uh, so let's see what the it's nice uh, print out there of uh, on that case so um, product manual so this is the 100 uh, a amp per bms uh, 12 volts carried the uh, amp hour um, so it's got all the specs there um, pull out the insulating plugs um, tightly screw so it comes with the screws and then you charge it yeah that's about it and uh, it's got all the other informations here and how the charging methods operate um, before you use when using the battery please be careful to avoid metal or conductive uh, objects install the battery upright tightly screw um, it's not intended for any devices do not use it as a starting battery um, suggestions for long-term storages um, it's got the battery charging logic and what those um, charging mode are um, and it also talks about the solar panel Recommended it should not be more than 300 watts right there. The battery can be fully charged in one day with effective sunshine for about 4.5 hours per day by 300 watt solar panels. So 4.5 hours. And I only have 100 watts. So, so that would be more hours for me to charge the completely. Um, so it may take more than one day to fully charge the battery uh, by less than 300 watt solar panels so that's that's that and then the recommended charging current is 20 amps it would charge for five hours at 100 degree uh, 100 percent capacity for 20 amp uh, charging uh, chargers so 50 amp should be around two hours and uh, controller settings so battery chargers yeah that's 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 that and to connect the charger to the battery before connecting it to the grid power in case of sparks it's recommended to disconnect the charger from the battery after fully charging and uh, it also talks about the alternator generator it says this battery can be charged by alter by an alternator or generator if the alternator generator supports dc output a dc to dc charger needs to be added between a battery and the generator. So if the alternator generator supports AC output, please refer to the recommendation in battery charger above and add a suitable battery charger between the battery and the generator. So it's the charging voltage should be between 14.2 volts to 14.6 volts. So, um, so how to estimate the, the battery capacity, there's the state of charge and all that. So blah 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 so <clears throat> life and discovery what is this like uh, they have all these products and this, this is a quick start guide which is good they basically oh there's stickers here you can use um so the quick start guide um wear and insulating gloves um, blah blah. Um, 
um, and then um, avoid direct contact between the terminals of positive and negative, of course. We recommend wrapping the wire terminals with insulating tape during wiring process. Um, ensure the battery is properly, blah, blah, blah. Other brands, you can actually uh, do not connect batteries from different brands or with different specifications. Supported power before connecting the load. Please make sure the power supported by the battery can meet the load demand. So, supported power is 50 watts, um, 100 watts, 800 watts, 1000 watts, 12,000 watts, and 2000 watts. Um, install the battery with post bolt facing up, and it could and it could not be mounted upside down. If you need to mount battery as it's at its side, please contact service. So, you cannot mount it upside down. The battery is recommended to be stored between 10 degrees to 35 degrees. Uh, do not disassemble the battery. Blah blah. blah. So that's that. It uh, says here post. These are the the post bolts. So let's uh, open this. It's nice that they have all these um, all these uh, sticky notes or whatever you call it. So these are the the bolts. Um, so they have extra bolts actually, and this kind of, uh, this would um, be a kind of a cap for the bolt. So that's that. Let's take that and let's take the battery out. And here it is. It's just really small. So it's got this strap here, and um, yeah, um, it says lithium iron, li lithium, lithium iron phosphate. It is just a mini actually. Before I forget, this is the mini. So it's smaller than the regular. This is the newest. It's the mini edition, so the newest, um, newer, I mean, probably not the newest, but the, a newer edition of the lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour battery. So let's take this thing out. There we go. All right, so. Let's put the bolts in. So the bolt has to and let's put the other one. Let's see if um, what's the So it's right now it's reading 13.12. You see that? Um, it's reading 13.12. Um, so I'm going to charge this with a with a solar panel. I have a portable solar panel, so I'm going to tap this up. Um, 
But, um, but yeah, um, this is just the unboxing, as I said. It's not um, a review or anything. Uh, where's the um, black one? All right, so. So I, I, I had the, the, the regular one, which I actually sold because it came with my trailer and uh, I upgraded and I sold the trailer and I liked, I liked that one. So I bought a new one here, which is the mini version. So I'm gonna uh, make this as a power station. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.